going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Dre the Plug, coming at you live with some more technical heat. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button below. Make sure y'all hit that bell button below so y'all can stay notified every single time I drop new technical heat. But let's get back into these interviews. Roll the clip. Hi, Technical Heat Familia. My name is Joel Reyes Guzman. I'm a propulsion engineer at the Boeing Company, and I'm a graduate from Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and Raritan Valley Community College. Some of my side hustles include or in the niche of enabling people, everything from a nonprofit to an educational business. Okay, so Joel, what actually got you into the aerospace space? That's a great question, Andre. It was in high school being very fascinated with how a million pound piece of metal stays in the sky and also at the time being good at math and science and enjoying math and science i thought engineering would be the best path but i didn't want to necessarily specialize in aerospace so i kept a general and i pursued the educational path of mechanical engineering and from there i applied to schools that offered it and schools that i knew companies would recruit from Okay, so what do you feel is the biggest benefit when it comes down to being inside of this field? There are many benefits about now being in this field as a propulsion engineer at the Boeing company under the customer service umbrella, repairing commercial airplanes from customers all over the world, like Delta and American here, or Emirates and Qatar Airlines all over the world. I get to directly impact the safety of people traveling from point A to point B, whether that be myself or my family, I get to do very impactful work that makes a world of a difference in these people's lives. And I also get to work with not only commercial airplanes, but military derivatives and freighters. Okay, so what's something that you did not expect jumping into the aerospace industry? I think up until this point, with all my experiences in this role at this company, it's all been everything about it I haven't really expected. A lot of that has to do with being a first generation college graduate, high school graduate. All this is still new to me. Even the classroom experience I got, even some of the internship experiences I got aren't always exactly what the job's gonna be like and that's okay. Uh, the beauty of it is being able to be part of, especially in the propulsion world, seeing all kinds of systems, all kinds of disciplines coming together making it work from structures to thermodynamics to hydraulics to electrical all things i never expected going in but very thankful for it because i'm learning a lot and it's going to help me prepare for that next stage in my life that next career i want okay joel so how was the interview process you know when it comes down to getting in with boeing the interview process like i've heard from a lot of other larger companies is pretty standardized boeing for my interviews use the STAR method. What's the STAR method? It stands for situation, task, action, and result. It's a standardized approach Boeing uses to fairly evaluate all applicants. Uh, the beauty of it is it kind of gives you like a roadmap of how to approach their questions, how to approach the, 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 the problem and provide them with a solution. Something I recommend everyone to consider also going in is change it to the start method, add that T at the end. What does the T stand for? Takeaway, you know, whether your example is a success or a failure, talk about what you learned, talk about your impact, talk about how you left that team after your last internship, after your last project, talk about its overall impact to the company. Cause that's why they want to bring you in. They want you to be impactful. Okay. So what got you into your side hustle? Well, who told you I had side hustle <laughs> i'm actually in for the lack of better words in the business of enabling others what do i mean by that well i have two side hustle ideas that are coming to life that one feeds my family and the other one feeds my soul what do i mean by that the one that feeds my family is something i've been doing for a while it has to do with consulting helping people get started what does that mean Everything from personal finance, like talking about credit cards, getting started with a budget, opening a bank account, all things that I wish 
someone had taught me when I was younger, not conversations I ever really had with my parents or family. The other business, business has to do with a personal project where I want to help people get to that next level. What do I mean by that? This other nonprofit idea is starting out as a scholarship that helps graduates from my high school go to my community college because I really believe in this population and I want to get help them believe that too. And a podcast where I bring in the everyday superheroes in my life to share their stories about how they they've made it or how they're doing it or how they want to make it. It's a platform where my friends can be that voice for people that look like them, sound like them, hell even smell like them and get them to that place, be in the shoes those kids want to be in. Very important for me, I wish there was more Baumberg High School grads or grads from my high school that came back and shared their success stories. So that's what I want to do. Okay, Joel, so can you give us a day by day of exactly what goes in your role at Bowen? Yeah, I'll share with you my work experience in my two roles I've had at the Boeing company. My first one was in Charleston, South Carolina with Propulsion South Carolina. And I started off as a design engineer where I got to directly support the production of the 737 MAX inlet. And I actually have a model here because I'm that nerdy guy with the model, the production for the propulsion system, specifically this lip, right? The inlet. We produced it there and they brought me in to help with optimization costs, supporting factory and delivering it. My next role, my current role, I'm now in Seal Beach, California as a propulsion engineer for repair on nacelle structures. What's a nacelle structure? The nacelle is the structural housing around the engine. What's the beauty of this role? Well, I went from a very specific last job, 737 MAX inlet to now working on the whole nacelle structure, everything from the inlet to the fan cowl, to the exhaust, to the thrust reverser, and all aircrafts, all airplanes that Boeing has. So 737, 747, 767, 777, 777, and some military derivatives and freighter airplanes like FedEx or UPS. The day-to-day -day involves working with other engineers on my team to take inquiries from customers all over the world look at the data they report to us. It could be a crack, it could be a dent, maybe something fell off. And we have to provide a safe solution to get that airplane to its next destination safely. Okay, so what made you actually jump into, you know, taking a route of going with Boeing versus going with NASA or Lockheed Martin? At first, when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, especially in, as early as high school, I knew I wanted to go in aerospace because I wanted to build and design airplanes, but that definitely expanded. And I think I have a very unconventional approach about how I really got here ultimately at Boeing. I first thought, all right, what are all the aerospace companies that includes Boeing, NASA, Northrop, Lockheed, SpaceX, Blue Origin. <clears throat> and then I thought, okay, where do these companies recruit from? So that's how I started to boil down my list. A lot of those schools included Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, RPI, MIT, Georgia Tech, Embry-Riddle, a lot of the big name aero schools. Ultimately picked the one that was closer to home and reputable across all these companies. Soon I got my lack of financial aid award letter and had to start that process all over again because I thankfully went to community college and then still pursued those opportunities, those companies. When I transferred to my four year, I just learned about more about each of these companies through people that had interned there and 
uh, all the programs that they offer, like rotational programs. Boeing happened to have a great pipeline program called EHI, or the Engineering Accelerated Hiring Initiative, where they do look for diverse talent at all these top schools. And I really appreciated that because Boeing, and I've continued to learn that Boeing does value diversity in every aspect of the company where I can be my whole self, my whole Latino self at work and not have to worry about that. So the decision was made after getting all my salary offers at RPI and Boeing offered the opportunity I really, really wanted. It was propulsion engineering. I had other great offers, some even in like sales engineering, where I love to use my relationship building skills, but I just wanted a stronger technical foundation. So I started with the best option I had available, not only in compensation, values, and the opportunity to really do my dream job. Okay, Joel, so what's your contact information so you can stay in contact with all the viewers right now, or if they wanna, you know, reach out and jump into your program that you have cooked up in the near future? There are many ways you can find me and connect with me. I'll start off by listing my Instagram account. You can find me at Joel Reyes Guzman. Same with LinkedIn, you can find me as Joel Reyes Guzman. I encourage you to connect with me on both. And I even offer a booking service. So if you go through either one, through my website listed on either one, you can book me for all kinds of calls, whether that's professional development, financial literacy, credit cards specifically, or you just wanna catch up. You can book me through the links in all my bios. It should be easy to set up. I'm looking forward to it. And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on the gram at Dre the Plug123. And then also go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre classic cuts i basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts i actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done and i pretty much go into detail as of why certain things happen so definitely go check out that channel besides that be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon and i'm out <laughs>